Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Today we're going to do another food vlog. The response has been tremendous on the other few food blogs that I have done. And so today we're going to talk about Thai fried rice. And this is one of the dishes that my kids enjoy, I enjoy, the whole family enjoys. And it's super easy and I'm going to show you how I put it together. So let's go through the ingredients that you need to make Thai fried rice. Okay, so when I make Thai fried rice, I try to keep it as simple as possible. And the three main ingredients that I use to flavor the dish are oyster sauce, soy sauce, and a little bit of fish sauce. So let's put the sauce together. So when you're making Thai fried rice, it's important that you use ratios to make sure that the flavor, the salty and the savory are all balanced. And so here's how I put it together. Since I have about four cups of rice, that's jasmine rice that's actually been in the refrigerator for 24 hours, I'm going to actually make a little bit more sauce. And so what I'm going to do is three level tablespoons of oyster sauce. Next up, I'm going to use three level tablespoons of soy sauce. And then finally, I'm going to use roughly about one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. Now I've got all of that, and I'm going to mix it to make sure that that sugar dissolves. That looks pretty good to me. Now to add the extra little kick, I'm going to put a few splashes of the fish sauce. And that's roughly about maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. You certainly don't need to use that in this recipe. So I'm going to continue to mix that. Everything is all combined. It's a little bit thick, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute it with just a bit of water. And that actually makes it to where I've got just enough sauce for the roughly four cups of uh, jasmine rice that I have. I'd rather have a little bit of extra sauce left over than not enough. So now that I have all of that combined, you can see that it's made a nice sauce. And when we fry the rice, that's what's going to go in at the very end in order to season it. So let's walk through some of the aromatics and things that I'm going to use whenever we fry the Thai fried rice. So we'll set our sauce aside. Remember, this was about four cups of jasmine rice. It's been in the refrigerator for 24 hours and it's actually really dry and that's what you want. Whenever you put it in the wok it's going to reheat but by having it dry like that it won't clump and it's going to be just like what you've had at the restaurant. Okay. What I also have here is about two cloves of garlic that I've chopped up pretty finely. I have one medium-sized shallot I have some green onions for color that I'm going to use at the very end. And then I also have roughly a half a cup of Thai basil that I've gotten out of my garden. So I've rinsed that. And one thing you'll notice on the Thai basil, I have left a few of the stems in there. The stems actually have a tremendous amount of flavor. And the way that I cook it, 
I'm actually going to put that into the oil and the idea is to flavor the oil with all of these items and then once that has been flavored I'll then toss in the rice. So let's go over to the walk and get started. All right, here we are at our walk. So I've got it on high heat. This is inside, so it's not gonna be near as hot as it was when we did the pad thai outside, but it's gonna be hot enough. So I've got my wok ladle, and I've got my round bottom wok. It's been seasoned. What I'm going to do now is as this is heating up, I'm gonna give it just another minute or so. Now we're gonna add some cooking oil. So this is a high temperature oil. Notice that I'm going around the wok. It's starting to smoke. That tells me that the wok is good and hot. Since we've got a good amount of rice, I have roughly about three tablespoons of oil in there. It's smoking nicely. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fry the shallots. We're going to try to season that oil. And we're also going to fry the garlic. It's going to move quick. There we are. Now we've got that oil seasoned. Gonna put the basil in. It's gonna season that oil as well. Exactly what we're looking for. All right, now in with the rice. Remember that was dried rice that has been in the refrigerator. You can see how dry that is. Exactly what we're looking for. Just break it up. heats up it's gonna break up but it's not gonna stick together because we spent that time in the refrigerator continuing to move it around Looking good. Now you can always add chicken into this if you like, or tofu. My kiddos actually don't care much for chicken in the fried rice, so we're gonna leave it out this time. If it was just for me and my wife, I would absolutely put some chicken in, and I would use that secret recipe that I had mentioned in the previous video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be revealing what that secret treatment is that I do for the chicken that makes it super tender. Looking pretty good here. I think we're just about ready for the sauce. Everything is getting heated up nicely. Okay, let's go in with the sauce. I'm not going to use it all. I want to make sure that I don't over season it because I still want to have some of the rice flavor in there and I don't want it to overpower any of that rice. So we'll just keep stirring it up here. Look how good that looks. I wish you were here, you could smell it. It's incredible. I think you're looking good. We'll go ahead and add just slightly more sauce. And every 
good chef has got to try the dish that you're going to put out for your family. So let's try it. Seasoning is just about perfect. What I'm going to do now to finish it off is I have a little bit of kosher salt. So I'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt into it. I'm going to mix it up nice and well. That basil has flavored that oil and so it's got a really nice basil flavor in the rice. If you like basil, you certainly could add a bunch more. All right, now we just need to finish it off with our green onions. And there you have it. It's that simple. That took us probably all of maybe five or ten minutes to get everything together. And all you had to do was make the rice the night before and put it in the refrigerator. Let's plate it up and I'll show you the end result. Okay, here it is. This is the finished product. This is the Thai fried rice. The hardest part about it was making the rice last night. These ingredients that I showed you, you likely have already in your pantry. And just remember the proportions that I shared with you earlier in the video. It's absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.